I want to get something settled. Because people have been spreading all kinds of shit about me on internet. On the streets. Back chat. Cheek. Guff. Insults. People have been gossiping. Whispers. Spreading gay information. Daring all up in me grill saying, Yeah, you make out you can beat any parking ticket, but you can't beat hospital car park charges now because they've got gates on to stop you getting out. And I'm like, What? You fucking what? My grandma can beat hospital car park charges. And she does it by first growing some bollocks. Manning up. Civil disobedience takes a certain level of commitment, she once told me. Now, I, I was coming here a lot about four or five years ago when we were having Mason. I was coming to hospital. Hospital's just in front of me and we're going to get out of this car park in a minute without paying. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we're paying eight quid, six quid, a load of three quid. I'm thinking, that we're not doing this anymore. So what I, would, what I did, I would drive around the gate. I would mount the pavement with two wheels and ease around it. And I did that for a while. You know, and, and one day we're coming, they put some fucking posts there. I said, babe, put some fucking posts here. You can't! So, uh, I had to pay for a while, but I'd had this idea rolling around in the back of my mind for years, even in multi-story car parts where they've got these shutter gates that come up and down. I thought, <coughs> if I could, like, get up behind the car in front and follow it out before the gate comes down. And I thought, no, you, you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that, Dan. But then I thought, hold up a minute. I'm on a dot right now hurtling through infinite space around a nuclear fireball you know my body is made of atoms that are 99.99999 percent empty space of course i can do it what's the worst that can happen so i get up behind car in front sat there waiting yes and then i look in my mirror and there's a car behind me i thought she has done panic a little bit I thought this could be really embarrassing for me a real dent on my ego we can't have that so I thought right we're going for it then car starts moving and going and I start following it out and you know I get past gate and it's shutting behind me I thought okay yes I mean I, you should have seen me when I got home I was dancing around like Louis Spence <clears throat> and I did that for a while and then one day the car in front had to stop to let a taxi go past and I'm there underneath gate and it started to come down and I fucking instantly panic shot up my spine I thought alarms were going to start going off or something so I'm fucking getting it into reverse like this and then it just stopped it stopped and I realised fucking laser in there <laughs> well you should have seen me when I got on I was dancing around like Louis Spence on crack. So, this is what we're going to do now. This is what my grandma does. That's what that phone call are all about in that video I did. Uh, parking tickets, all you need to know. You know, she, you know, she wants to show me how to do it. And uh, she needed an hand from car to hospital because her legs aren't very good. Oh. It's me, no, no. I'll just get out this one set. Yeah? What do you want? F*** you what? F*** off. F*** it. Sorry about that. Me no no. It's getting old now. Let's do this. Straight out. Come on! That's how it's done. So...